and today I'm at Alexandra Palace, located on the East Coast Main Line. Um, we've already seen two trains here today, um, plenty more to cover. So, um, first of all, passing through there, I think it was 70026, passing through an undelayed uh, Thames Link service for running from Letchworth to London King's Cross. Uh, 707717, one departing out there. Uh, on a stopping uh, service, the 1114 service running from Stevenage to Moorgate via Hartford North. Next up, that one will be at Hornsey. Anyway, Alexandria Palace, absolutely brilliant station. I haven't filmed here in a very long time, I'm really interrupted by the 700. So, I'll just want to know they're going from Cambridge to Brighton. Just Ca um, Alexandra, not Cambridge, Alexandra Palace, I've not filmed here in almost three years now, it's lovely to be back. Um, it is a very, 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 very good station um, for being uh, one of the very few stations on the East Coast Main Line between uh, on the south section that have uh, unrestricted access to the fast lines. Gates to the uh, platforms 1 and 2 are a bit annoying, but of course we can see every everything on the slow lines that comes northbound, so it is a very good um, station. We also have to compete with the... Um, Tree surgeons just around the corner there, cutting the tree down. They have to do what they have to do. Anyway, let's see what turns up there. It's possible now with two trains. First of all, we have a 387 bound for Ely. Which is going to be XC2C 387 301 as well as 387 120. I'm going to keep the camera rolling as we do have a freight train um, scheduled to come through. You might be able to just see it um, coming around the corner. That is, that has just come off the Hartford Loop. That is on a service going from Masbro N and WGBRF to London Gateway. Uh, appears to be with an intermodal. This one will be coming through on platform two. So quite an interesting start to the video. As an 800 also comes through, I'm not too sure on the destination or origin of this one. That one is going from Leeds to London King's Cross and it is operated by uh, 801217. This is 66782 um, with the Charity Bell Tours livery um, heading southbound. To get to London Gateway, I'm not too sure which route this one will take. I assume it will go onto the Goblin at some point. When well, it goes onto the North London Line by Drayton Park, runs over to Stratford, um, on the Great Eastern Main Line, across the Woodgrange Park parking, and then southbound towards Tilbury. So, very interesting route for this one. Quite well loaded as well, that train. Okay, as arriving now is going to be the 1124 Great Northern service running from Moorgate to Well and Golden City, operated by Class 717. 717-005. Little question of the video for you early on. During peak hours, Thameslink also operates a service that runs to Welling Garden City. But where does it start from? That's an interesting one for you. Um, it's a very new service that came in in the May 2022 timetable change. It's Thameslink operate a service at peak times that runs to Welling Garden City. But where does it start from? Let me know down in the comments below. A lot of people getting off here, surprisingly. I'm not sure what they'd be doing to do in Alexandria Palace at 11.30 in the morning. I don't think many people would be going home at this time of morning either. This one calls New Southgate, Oakley Park, New Barn, Hadleywood, Potter's Bar, uh, Britman's Park, Wellham Green, Hatfield and Wellham Garden City. Don't know the calling points of my local line. Lovely. 
So here comes your 387 on Great Northern's longest scheduled passenger route. Fritz 109, 106 and Fritz 7113. Unusual to see a 12 car on the weekend actually. If you guessed correct, that is going from King's Lynn to London King's Cross, taking almost two hours to complete that journey. Wouldn't want to spend two hours on a 387 to be honest. Did not expect that one to be coming through so early. That is a uh, 10th class 700, 700.02 on a service running from Horsham to Peterborough. I believe that is Thameslink's longest service as well. It's coming through now, we have an LLR class 801 running from York to London King's Cross. Which is 801221. That service would normally start at Edinburgh, um, but due to track work in the Durham area, that service um, has been started for real. Some trains are still running to Edinburgh, they're running via Hartlepool and uh, Sunderland, but uh, not very many of them. As also shortly passing through, talking of Sunderland, there's going to be a Grand Central service heading to Sunderland. I'm not too sure when it's passing through, but it will be any minute now, I believe. Indeed, our first Grand Central of the day, running from London King's Cross to Sunderland. Just 180.105, with its next stop being at York. As now we have two Great Northern services, the first being the 11.34 um, Great Northern service running from Welling Garden City to Moorgate, which is just arriving on Platform 2 there, which is 17011, still supporting the NHS colours. As arriving behind me is going to be the 11.35 Great Northern service going from Steve, um, Moorgate to Stevenage via Hartford North. So I move your attention over here, this is 717022. We'll catch both depart at our respective departure times. Okay, uh, 717011 is about to spot now, as also passing through another 801. <laughs> 801209 whistling, is it? Oh! <laughs> 801209, 71112, ah, it's four trains at once, this one's leaving, that one's leaving. 717022 is passing out now next to Bose Park as 717011 is passing out now south next stop Hornsey. That was a bit funny, wasn't it? Four trains at once. Passing through now with a Thameslink semi fast service. Seven hundred zero two five. Also going to Letchworth. I'm not too sure why Thames Inc. Um, terminating at Letchworth today, because all the uh, Thames Inc. fast services are running to Cambridge. But they're doing like once every hour. Oh yeah, once every hour. Um, Cambridge, and then the other one goes to Letchworth. Comes an L and the R service. One ten with us, punter golf raced at the rear one usually. Usually the um, LNR uniquely have the punter golf raced at the front rather than the back. Um, that service is running from Edinburgh to London King's Cross. That service um, from Newcastle would have gone via Sunderland. Um, where else would it have gone? By by Hartlepool and then join the East Coast Main Line at Eagles Cliff uh, to avoid the track work at Durham. That signal's changed to yellow already. Wow. <laughs> 
Um, hence why it was an 800, so that it could use its bi capabilities, because the section of line that travels on between Newcastle, Sunderland and the Fountain is not electrified. So that's one of the advantages of having bi trains, I guess. It's so calling from platform 2 now, we have a tempting service running from Cambridge to London, King, London King's Cross, this is one of the slow services. I still have something very, very interesting coming through now. I think I can hear it. Here it comes. Ninety-one, one thirty of eighty-two, two, two, five. Sporting the very nice new colours. Running from London King's Cross to Leeds. This is seven hundred zero four three operating service in Cambridge, London King's Cross. Calling next at Finsbury Park, having called at Potter's Bar as its last stop. That's so why I think now it's going to be the 11.44 um, Great Northern service running from Stevenage to Moorgate by Hartford North, having just come via the Hartford Loop. This service is trying to be able to sit here for two minutes, not too sure why, maybe to um, ensure a reliable even service um, between the Wellington City service and this one. Or perhaps uh, as allowance uh, for the uh, Fast Cambridge service, which came through slightly early actually. 717024. It's right wiper doesn't sound too healthy at all, does it? Driver taking it in very slowly, no rush at all. It's also quite wet today, so the rolls are quite slippery. There's a magpie who runs along the edge of the platform. Okay, as spotting right now is the 11.44 Tem Templin Great Northern service uh, running from Stevenage to Moorgate calling at Hornsey, Haringey, Vincent Park, Drayton Park, Highbridge, Lincoln, Essex Road, Old Street and Moorgate, even the magpie was watching off the end of the platform there you may have seen. 717024, excuse any rain on the lens, I'm just cowering in a little sheltered bit from the um, awful British weather. It's not like particularly heavy rain, it's like the misty rain, if you know what I mean. And it's just a bit annoying to stand in. You don't get particularly wet, it's just very annoying. Okay, as coming through now, we have a Thameslink service going from um, Brighton to Cambridge. It's going to be 700139. Calling next at Stevenage. It's coming in through now, we have another 387. Right, 7124 and 387302, also at C2C uh, on a service yep, going from London King's Cross to King's Lynn, running approximately one minute late. Not that it's a problem. That service would have easily picked up one minute before. It arrives at its um, next stop, which will be at Cambridge. It's the fastest way to get between London and Cambridge, is that service. i quite a few people that um, live in London, work in Cambridge, vice versa, will um, get that train every day. So it'll be quite busy during the um, peak hours, I assume. It's coming through now with another Thames Inc. Class 700. This one, I believe, is running from Cambridge to Brighton. Seven hundred one twenty-four 24 to spraying off its front pantograph, they're looking very very cool as it heads down south, next stop being at Finsbury Park. Okay good, we're not going to get bold, what's coming through now is very very unusual, or getting more and more common now actually. Eight two three zero five and 802303, I got the front name plate, Humber Bridge. I'm not too sure on the rear one, as um, arriving in very shortly now is going to be the 1154 Great Northern service running from Moorgate to Welling Garden City. Come over 
it'll get very nice clean from all the dirt in, in this rain, won't it? I keep vowing whenever I come out train spotting to bring a sponge with me and just clean out the bottom of the trains there, which are getting a bit um, covered, but it seems to be, the rain seems to be doing a good job actually. Okay, I suppose now it's going to be the 11 uh, something. 11.54, Great Northern Service. Running from Mulgate to Welling Garden City, the worst of the rain seems to have seeded now. Calling next at New Southgate. Let's see what turns up next. I feel I feel they might be trained very, very soon. Oh, very nearly caught me off guard there. 180 103 on a Grand Central service running from Bradford Interchange to London King's Cross. Not too sure whether that one went through Pontefract or not. I'll just check because there are two. There are actually two routes that Grand Central take uh, to get from London King's Cross to Bradford Interchange. Some of them stop at Pontefract Monk Hill. Some of them don't. That one did. So that would have been one of the few trains a day that do stop at Pontefract Monk Hill. That's your turns up next. I'm going to head to platform one now, actually, because my train uh, back down into London is pretty soon. As what I believe to be the final train of day is going to be this uh, class of an going from Horsham to Peterborough. Eight car. It's an Andre 028 in an eight car formation bound for Peterborough. Interesting. This coming in is going to be uh, my train back into London, which is uh, the 12.04. Great Northern service running from, uh, where is it going from? Wellington City to Morgate, 717 009. 009, that sounds very jarring. Very nice tone there. The depot whistle. Anyway, um, if you've enjoyed what you've seen here, then do click the like button and do consider subscribing if you do enjoy my content for some reason. Look forward to welcome back to the channel. Goodbye from me and goodbye from Alexandra Palace. Let's get on board.